Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's episode, we are gonna go on a family trip to San Diego, and I wanna hit up some local record stores that were recommended to me. I'm gonna check them out and buy the first record of the year. All right, this is the big city guy, San Diego. Lots of people, but also lots of interesting stores to kind of check out. This is our first family vacation, kind of without Gus. <laughs> It's our family vacation without Gus, because Gus is working. All right, everyone, I attempted the crazy. I went to see World alone with two kids and pregnant. That's a baby shark. Whoa! All right, Portland is here at the beach. This is a little bay area in San Diego, Mission Bay. On Instagram, I asked you guys, what are your favorite record shops in San Diego? And I got three recommendations from multiple people at the same spot. So I'm gonna go check out as many as I can today. You know, I haven't bought a record all year. I really don't know what to look for. I've been so busy with family life, I haven't really been able to dive into music. So the first spot we're gonna go to is um, like a farmer's market, and Mo Records is there. So I'm gonna see if I see his little shop, see what kind of records he has. All right, we are in the first location, Liberty Public Market. First time here, and there's so much cool things going on. Lots of cool vendors and families and stuff. So this is a perfect location. Thank you Mo Records for recommending this to me. I guess he has a little uh, pop-up shop. I'm gonna see if I can find him and look at the records that he has. And there's just really cool things for a bunch of kids. <laughs> exactly fits my lifestyle. Let's go check it out. Found it. All right, here's Mo Records, say hi. He's setting up his shop. We're gonna take a look to see what we got today. I picked the Otis Redding Greatest Hits. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, this was Mo Records. Lots to look at. Glad I finally got Otis Redding. It's gonna be fun. And this is Krungbin. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> It's the end of the day and um, the kids are asleep. I made it to Vinyl Junkie. It's a really cool part of town I've never been to and no one has ever told me about this part of town. I'm just like, all these years I didn't know this. So thank you so much everyone who shared with me to um, check out this record store. I'm really excited. I don't know what they have. It looks kind of small and I have a big stroller. So I might have to leave the kids outside. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, it's it's a little harder to do this, but searching for records is something I love. Thank you guys for encouraging me on YouTube because if I didn't have this community, I probably would let this part of me die and I'm trying hard to keep it alive.
right, so I just finished with Vinyl Junkie. You know, I'm so grateful I came and checked it out. And you know what, I'm also grateful this is in a really good neighborhood because now it's dark. <laughs> um, and another thing to be grateful for, the store um, owner basically helped me with my stroller up the steps. Thank you so much. A sh special shout out to you for helping me. I was able to browse for about 10 minutes grabbed two albums I'll show you those when I get back at home and I also want to listen to them and give you some feedback on them I did do one spontaneous buy because I just need a little bit of magic in my life right now <laughs> so hopefully I don't regret that had a great time just spending some like a few moments with my records Hello everyone, I had the opportunity to listen to the records that I purchased in San Diego. So the first one I got, you guys saw Otis Redding from Mo Record Shop. And I've always wanted Otis Redding. I mean, you guys talk about him all the time. He's a classic. And I thought a greatest hit would be a great starting point. Now, the only problem with the greatest hit is that there's no story, continuous story behind it. It's just kind of like, these one-off songs and so sometimes it does get overwhelming with how good everything is like everything is good some of the songs if you don't know Otis Redding this has these arms of mine now these are classic songs you must have heard in movies and TV shows from period pieces from the 60s next I bought a spontaneous spy which you know my last video was what is vinyl worthy you know overthinking it but sometimes you just gotta buy what you see and you're interested in and luckily this was a good album <laughs> so this is Angel Olsen a whole new mess this is a very intimate style record just a guitar and her voice I think one song has an organ on it it is interesting to hear how she pushes her vocals because they almost sound different at different times I'm like wait is this still her <laughs> all the different ranges that she pushes her voice so it does sound like one continuous song some people don't like that but it's really nice I enjoyed it so the next album I came across was Spoon you know I was so happy when I saw the album cover I recognized it from like so long ago this is Gaga Ga 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 and this is from 2007 now they have some really popular songs you might be familiar with or remember you got your cherry bomb don't you ever now this was the first time I listened to the whole record in its fullness and it was fun now spoon is was around in the 90s you know I didn't know this until I was reading up on it they're around in the 90s and it wasn't until the mid 2000s that they actually got famous they did some SNL performances they were on Conan O'Brien well thank you guys so much for watching and encouraging me to keep on going forward with this YouTube channel it's a lot of work, but it's also really fun and rewarding at the end of the day. So I know I won't be able to give you videos weekly like I would love to, but every so often you'll see a video posted here. Be sure to say hi, add me on Instagram. I'm on there all the time and I do share my records more frequently there. So thank you guys for being a subscriber and leaving a comment. I always appreciate your hellos. Well, I'll see you guys in the next episode and the next adventure in hunting for records. Bye.